Okay, so welcome back. Let's go ahead and talk about the three types of navigation you're expected to demonstrate the day of your stage check or check ride and the types of navigation that are available to you when you're piloting a VFR aircraft. The first one is called pilotage and that's where we simply look out of the window and drive to a thing that we see on the ground. <laughs> Um, for those of you who fly to the Centennial Airport, you're probably very familiar with Chatfield Reservoir, and it may seem um, to you that that's a great, logical first checkpoint. Boop. I'm going to go ahead and drop that right on top of Chatfield. Oh, let me get rid of this one. Delete. Okay. So, uh, it may seem logical to you that that's a great first checkpoint, and it might be. The only problem is we really need to get out from underneath this class Bravo shelf. That's what we need to do. Plus we create a real paper drill for ourselves if we select checkpoints that are less than 10 miles apart. I really like them to be right at 20 miles. I find that to be a real nice, mm, that's the sweet spot. I'm gonna throw this point back down. You'll notice I chose a real specific point. It's on the left side of the airplane. And uh, for those of you who are applying for licenses, the left side of the airplane is the one that you're on, not me. You can easily see the point, I cannot. Give yourself every opportunity to succeed. Also, I chose a, a very specific point in that it's the uh, south portion of the spillway at Bear Creek Lake. That's not to say I'm going to have my eyes closed. Yeah, I'm going to monitor my progress. I'm going to see myself flying along 470, Chatfield off to the left. I'll see Marston Lake. We'll continue. I'll pick up the drag strip and the amphitheater but for sure I'm gonna see Bear Creek Lake. Now, if I haven't made it clear, make for sure your very first checkpoint is so easy to find, it is impossible to miss. It has to be impossible to mess up. Don't pick little power lines or little towers, small object, do not do that. The reason is that your very first checkpoint is pilotage. There's no way it can be dead reckoning because you don't know if you're taking off to the north and you're gonna get vectored all the way up to the north shore, if you're taking off south and you're gonna be vectored all the way down here. You don't know if you're gonna take off on one zero and come back and cross over the middle of the runway. It's impossible to rely on your heading and timing that you had pre-planned pre to make it to your first checkpoint. Therefore, it stands to reason it, it's only gonna be either visual or electronic. I encourage you to use visual. Therefore, don't do your check ride on a day when the visibility is horrible. And also, don't use checkpoints that cannot be easily found visually. Okay, I think you guys got the idea. Your first checkpoint is de facto a pilotage checkpoint. Oh, and by the way, extra credit, what is that flag? And why is that word Morrison underlined? You'll want to know that. Okay, moving along here. Oh, oh little hint. You can find it in your index. You know where your index is at? Let me show you. You can either put it in your documents under VFR chart legend. Mine's in night theme. I gotta turn that night theme off. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Let's go day. There we go, I like that much better. But let me show you something. If I go to my settings tab up here on the maps, and then I go to Map Touch Action, bring chart to front with legend, Map Touch Action, bring chart to front with legend, and then I go back to my chart. I know you're thinking there is no change, but there is. Watch this, I'm gonna scroll out. Now if you read 91.78, you'll know that this device is actually a picture of the paper chart. And you're asking me, oh James, you're lying again. I don't trust you, but watch what happens. I'm going to touch this, and the actual paper chart is going to be depicted. And now I have the legend. I can see things like dates of validity. <laughs> Pretty awesome, right? Just totally awesome. I mean, this technology is so ridiculous. It's such a game changer. But here's my chart legend, right? And you can find all the answers to any question you might have. They're pretty much all on here. It really is powerful. So make sure you give this guy a little look over. Oh, by the way, here's your VFR checkpoints. 
make sure you give that guy a, a little look over. I know sometimes having bring to front with legend is a pain in the butt. Therefore, it is advantageous to be quite familiar with how to turn it off and on. Okay, cool. I'm at my five minute limit. These sure do go by fast. But ladies and gentlemen, I present to you pilotage to your first checkpoint. <laughs>